Hello everyone, I am Divya from GCS MDM Informatica. Welcome to today's video. In this video, we are going to see how to create custom pages in C360 SAS. We will start with custom pages overview, followed by custom page design process, creating a custom page and validating the same. We will be finishing this video with a quick demo. So let's get started. Custom Pages Overview A user interface includes pages, icons, buttons and other elements that help you interact with your business application. You can design the user interface based on your business requirements. You can create custom pages and add predefined components. The users can view the customized pages when they create or open a record in the application. You can assign pages to user roles, associate business entities to your application and configure search properties and search layouts for your application. You can create and configure custom pages for your application. You can configure the layout of the page by adding tabs, panels and sections. You can split each panel into sections of different sizes you can also assign the pages to your application. Now we will see the design process. The following workflow shows the process of designing a custom page. We create a page, then add panels to the page. If needed, we split the panels into sections. Then we add the components, configure their properties, and we save them. Now we will see the overview of creating a custom page. You can create and design custom pages for your application based on your business needs. Add one or more tabs, split the page into sections and add components. The components differ based on the business entity and page type you have selected. So we will start with clicking the new button, business applications, then we click on page and we click on create. Then we will provide the properties that are mentioned here, the display name, internal ID, description, business entity, page type, there are two types, either create page or view or edit page. That is, create page is needed to create records in Customer 360, view and edit to view and edit the records in Customer 360. Then we select the location, the project or folder within which you want to save the custom page. Then we click on OK. A blank page with a panel appears. You can either split the panel as per the business requirement or you can use as it is. Then we add components in the panels. We can either go ahead and add more panels and tabs or we can save the custom page. Once the page is created, we need to validate the page. Once we validate the page, we will see if there are any errors related to the configured fields and the field properties. Before saving the page, correct the errors and then save the page. For example, when you configure a page, if you do not enter a value in a required field, an error appears in the validation errors panel. Correct the error by entering the values in the required field. On the custom page, click on validate icon. If any other error appears, correct them and then save the page. As we have discussed, we can assign the page to the application. So after assigning the page, you can select either the create page or the view page and then assign the roles to the page. So without any further ado, let's start with the quick demo. In Business 360 console, click on new. Then click on business applications, page and click on create. Let's provide the properties, display name. Select the business entity. I'm going to create a page for view and edit. So I'm going to uh, select this one, then select the location. Click on OK. Now, Go to page components and here, as you can see, drag page header component here. So we will be dragging the page header component to here. Now, based on the business requirement, you can 
select the fields that you need to show here on the top uh, highlighted field so when we click on highlighted field you will get an option to select the field here I'm going to select full name click on apply now click on line 1 fields select the field that you want to show on the line 1 I'm going to show title done click on apply you can show multiple and you can use the separator comma now let's select the field for line 2 here I'm going to use designation done apply now we have configured our header section now to add the panel in your page you click on this section here once you click here you will get a add panel group button now we have one panel already here so you can either split the screen into different sections there are different ratios in which the section is divided I'm going to select one is to one section here now based on the section you can create different types of you can add different types of page components here let's go to page components so in the first section let's add fields let's drag and drop the fields now click on add fields you will get an option to add different types of fields so in this one I'm going to add all the fields that are present here now we have added the fields to the section 1 of this panel now let's add another field group in this panel drag and drop the field section click on add fields to add the field group let's go down and select address here now all the fields that are there in address smart field group will be selected in this section click on save before saving we can also click on uh, validate since I'm getting a uh, message here saying valid so I don't need to validate this page either so what if your page is valid you will get this valid message on top now our page is saved so let's go ahead and add this page to our application go to explore search for the application so here customer 360 is the business application that I'm going to use once the application is loaded go to pages since I created the page with the view or edit, I am going for view and edit. Now click on plus sign here. When you click on this drop down, you will see the page that we have created newly will be shown here. Let's select this page. Let's add the rules. So I am going to give customer analyst data steward and manager to this page let's click on save so as you can see we can see the demo record view page is added to this application customer 360 now let's go to our customer 360 application and verify the page so now we are into customer 360 application uh, let me search with the asterisk here uh, let's open one record now you can see that the screen is visible as uh, it is same as the page that we defined earlier so in, this is the panel and there are two sections here in the first section we added these many fields and in the second section we added the address field group on top you can see the full name 
of the record and since title and designation are empty here we are not able to see the title and designation here so this is how we create a custom page based on our business requirement thank you for your time we would love to hear from you you can reach out to us on twitter and also on this support video at the rate informatica.com thank you